The Earth Tags are finally here. They were first leaked back in 2019, and two years later, in 2021, we finally have them. So, here are not 5, not 10, not 15, but 20 things you need to know about the AirTags. We did a similar video on the iPad Pro with 21 things, and also my thoughts on the new iMac, so make sure you check those out. And speaking of the AirTags, we are giving not one, but four of them away to four lucky winners. Simply subscribe to the channel, follow on Instagram as enough tech, and then leave a comment on this video saying what the item that you would track with the AirTag would be, and also make sure to leave your Instagram handle so that we can check that you are a follower. The giveaway ends on the 24th of May, so good luck to everyone, and now, let's begin the video. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know is that the AirTags do protect your privacy as the location will fully be encrypted. Now, I did explain this in a previous video, so make sure you check it out, uh, as I went through how the AirTags actually work and how they encrypt your location and how your iPhone decrypts it, but long story short, only your iPhone will know where your AirTag is, as that would be the only device that will be able to decrypt the AirTag's location. Not even Apple will be aware of where your AirTag is or what item uh, the AirTag is tracking. Number two, we have NFC message. So people who find your AirTag can actually tap on the back of it to reveal a custom message, such as your name, phone number, email, etc. Um, and this is pretty cool. You can already locate the AirTag online, of course, easily, but that means that you will have to go to find your missing item, whereas if someone finds your missing item, they can already contact you directly and I don't know, maybe they actually live close by so they can easily return it to you, so that's pretty cool. So what if you have an Android phone? Can you use the AirTags with an Android phone? The answer is not fully, but you can to some extent. So you cannot set it up with an Android phone, unfortunately, um, but you can actually find missing AirTags, um, not through the Apple Find My Network, but you can actually tap on the back of a lost AirTag with your Android phone and reveal that NFC message. Probably my favorite feature of the AirTags is something called precision finding. So the AirTags feature Apple's U1 chip uh, or the ultra-wideband chip, which means that you can very accurately locate your AirTags with a precision of one foot or about 30 centimeters. Now, you do need an iPhone model that has the Yuan chip as well to be able to do that, uh, such as the iPhone 11 series or the iPhone 12 series. Now, the AirTag itself also has Bluetooth, so you can use it with models that don't have the Yuan chip as well. The only difference is that you can still ping the AirTag, but you won't be able to see those precise arrows like you can with precision tracking. And by the way, these two actually have different names. So you have proximity finding by Bluetooth and then precision finding via that U1 chip. Speaking of precision finding, if you want to find our videos better, then definitely subscribe. Only 22.4% of you watching this video are actually subscribed. What are you doing? It's free, you don't have to pay anything. Let's get that number to 50% and you'll get to see a lot more of our hopefully cool tech videos. Speaking of cool stuff, the AirTags also have an accelerometer built in. I'm not sure why though, like they have the Yuan chip, they have Bluetooth, they have a speaker, so you can already track them and find them. Why is the accelerometer needed? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have an idea. So yes, they do have a speaker built in, and after about three days of being separated from the owner, the AirTags will play a loud beep, um, which I think sucks because that means I cannot use an AirTag on my bike, which isn't actually stored in my apartment, but in a separate cycle room in the building. Now, I've seen some comments saying that the AirTags could also be used maliciously. As in theory, you could just put an AirTag, you could attach it to a car or put it in a jacket of a friend or something and, um, you know, track that person, which is pretty scary. Now, Apple has also thought of this and they do have a solution and it's called the AirTag movement alerts. So let's say that you put an air tag inside someone's bag to track that person. That person would then get a notification that there is an air tag that is not theirs that is moving with them and they can actually disable it. Now that is pretty cool but there are two issues that I can see with it. The first one is people on public transport. Imagine someone genuinely loses an air tag in the bus and then literally everyone on that bus with an iPhone would get that notification. And then the second issue, and this is the big one, is that 
I believe this actually makes the air tag unusable for protecting you from theft. And that's because the thief, as long as he has an iPhone, he will be able to easily disable the air tag as soon as he takes your bag, as the iPhone would think that the thief is being tracked. Apple has to clarify what is the whole deal with this. Um, I've seen some comments saying that maybe if you mark it as stolen, um, none will be able to disable it, but then if you really want to track someone, you would just stick the air tag on their car or something and then mark it as stolen. And then they wouldn't be able to disable it. So again, Apple really needs to clarify this because if you cannot use the air tags for uh, keeping track of lost items, then it's, it's really, really bad, I would say. But something that's not so bad is the battery life. So they have a one year battery life but this is only when uh, you're not tracking them actively. So if you lose them and you enable lost mode, then um, I don't think it's gonna be a year, it's gonna be significantly less. But the good news is that this battery is actually user replaceable. So it's a standard CR2033 battery. I was honestly not expecting Apple to allow us to change the battery like that. I was expecting some sort of wireless charging system or MagSafe, something like that, but this is pretty cool. and. The replacement process is fairly easy. You just rotate the back, you take the previous battery out, put a new one in, and you're good to go. Now, the AirTags also have water resistance. So they have an IP67 rating, uh, up to one meters of depth, up to 30 minutes, which is pretty great. However, what you should definitely be aware of is that if your AirTag falls into a lake, you would not be able to track it anymore because the Bluetooth signal doesn't travel through water. So do keep that in mind. Um, if it rains on your lost AirTag, it's still fine. So I think that's pretty much the main use case scenario of the air tag being water resistant. The fact that if it gets wet, when, I don't know, maybe you attach it to your bike and it gets lost or stolen or I don't know, and uh, the thief doesn't disable the air tag and it rains, uh, you will still be able to find your missing item. Speaking of finding your missing items, you can also ask Siri. So you can label your items such as keys, wallet, and so on, and then you can ask Siri to find that specific item. I think it does suck that we only have one design uh, for the AirTag. For example, Tile has plenty of options. You have the super tiny one that you can stick on stuff. I actually have one on my bike. Um, you also have this credit card style one that fits in your wallet so you can track your wallet in case it gets lost. And they have multiple sizes for the standard ones too. The AirTag only comes in one shape and one size. But the good news is that Apple does offer quite a few accessories for the AirTag. So the first one is a loop. Uh, you can use this for attaching it to a bag or a purse. It comes into finishes, silicon, and um, leather. It, it's quite nice, but to be honest, I wouldn't attach it to any bag or anything like that, as if your bag does get stolen, that's the first thing that the thief would see and throw away. The second accessory is the Apple key ring. That's the one that I'm actually getting. This is made out of European leather and you can only get it in that style. Different colors, I think it's I think it's quite nice. And then we have uh, the Hermes, Hermes, Hermes. <laughs> we have three different designs for this thing. We have a key ring, we have a luggage tag and the bag charm. And they're all super expensive. So the most expensive one is the luggage tag, which costs $450. Now it does come with a very unique design on the back. Actually, they all do. But the thing is, you can easily remove the air tags from that pouch. So again, uh, don't place them outside your bag. This is like if if you see if a thief sees <laughs> a Hermes um, tag on a random bag, I can assure you that's the first thing that they will steal. There's a good chance that that would be more expensive than the whole bag. Now, aside from the first party accessories that Apple makes, there's also a few other ones made by third-party manufacturers. For example, Belkin sells two and they're available on Apple's website. Uh, there's this holder with a strap and the key ring, and obviously they're much cheaper than Apple's options and they still look quite good. There are also plenty of third-party options. Spigen has a very good one. Link in the description down below, by the way. Now, something that I really love about the AirTags is that you can actually customize them uh, quite a lot. So aside from the accessories that you can buy, you can also engrave them with emojis or letters or numbers when you buy them from the Apple Online Store. That's a great way to easily designate an AirTag to a specific role. I'm actually gonna do that myself. Now, keep in mind that Apple has started banning inappropriate gravings. So uh, yeah, don't get too creative. So you're probably expecting the AirTags to be this very tiny, tiny device which they are, um, but they're also quite thick. So they're eight millimeters thick, as thick as the iPhone 11 Pro Max. That was 8.1 millimeters, so a tiny bit thicker. 
but it's actually thinner than Samsung's regular Galaxy Tag, which is 10 millimeters. And overall, uh, the AirTag is about the same size as a standard bottle cap. Okay, so now you're all probably excited about the AirTags and you want to get some or win some by entering our giveaway. Um, do you need specific devices to use them? Well, aside from an iPhone 11 or 12 to use uh, the precision finding, you can use these on any device that has iOS 14.5. So it can be an iPhone, an iPad, or even the iPod Touch. And of course, you also need an Apple ID, uh, but that's it. Overall, I think they're a great deal. So they're $29 for one, which is actually less than I was expecting. I was expecting like 39 or even 49, or you can buy a four pack for $99, or $24.75 each. Samsung's one costs $29.99, Tile is $24.99 for a single, or $75 for a four pack, which translates to $18.75 per Tile. So Tile is cheaper. So I mentioned Tile a few times in this video, so you're probably wondering, is Tile a good option? Well, in some ways, you see Tile offers way more designs. Uh, way more different sizes. It is compatible with iOS and Android. You can actually track stolen stuff, at least until Apple clarifies this whole disabling the AirTag situation. Uh, they're less expensive. However, the big downside with Tile is that they are uncomparable in terms of coverage, as only the devices running the Tile app will be able to locate missing tiles. Apple's AirTags work with any iPhone running iOS 14.5 no app needed as everything is done on an OS level. But here's the thing, Apple has actually opened up the Find My Network to third parties, meaning that if Tile wants, they can actually enter that and they could offer a product that's cheaper than Apple, has the same functionality and also comes in multiple sizes. That's what they should do. And if they do that, then, um, well, I'm gonna switch <laughs> to Tile again. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think about all of this and definitely subscribe if you wanna see more in-depth tech videos and interesting tech videos like this one hopefully was. Don't forget about the AirTag giveaway. And yeah, this has been pretty much it for this one. Thank you for watching. This has been Zenof Tech. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zenof Tech, signing out. Cheers.